Hi guys, welcome back to Sarah's Diaries. So, we have a bookcase in our house. We currently use it to store books and toys. Uh, it even comes with a convenient storage box. And today I would like to show you guys how to transform any shelf or cabinet like this you have in your house into an antique and compact mandir or a prayer place. First, I'm going to remove all the items from the cabinet. I first moved it to my garage for some cleaning. Next, I'm going to take out the shelves which are usually detachable to allow more spacing in these kind of cabins. You can leave these on and decorate it as it is, but I'm making more space to give it a mantap kind of a look. I'm giving it a good wipe down. Next, I'm going to coat it with some translucent wood stain. This is optional, but it adds a nice fresh look to the furniture. Remember to move the furniture outside or to your garage before painting it. So now the paint is all dried up and I've moved the cabin inside the house. You can use a regular shelf that comes with the cabin or you can use a hanging wall shelf to highlight a picture or a statue in the center of the mandir. I got my shelf from IKEA. Here's a picture of the shelf in the IKEA website. Then I'm going to secure two ceiling hooks on either side of the roof of the mandir. You can use this to hang bells or thorns. The ceiling hooks look like this and come in very handy and useful when you want to decorate your mandir. I've got two of these beautiful antique bells. I bought them from Amazon. I'm going to hang them in the ceiling hooks on either side of the hanging shelf. Next, I have this really pretty gold color Ganesha that my best friend Meku gifted me. It's from home center and I'm going to put it in the hanging shelf here in the middle of the cabin. Isn't it beautiful? I think my bookshelf is starting to look like a beautiful mandir. What do you think? Next, I have this framed picture with three deities in it that my mom gave me. It's going to go right above the Ganesha. Next, to give it a divine look, I have this mirrored Om decal also from Amazon that goes right on top. Next, I put up fairy lights on all three sides to give it a classy festive look. I have lit some incense sticks to add some aroma to our ambience and a little small diya on a plate. I would like to welcome you all to my simple and elegant puja room. I know some of you might feel it's a little bit empty or it could be a little more colorful. If you feel that way, you could add some thorns like this that add a little more color to your temple or mandir. Here are a few ideas to help you add some color to your puja room. You could add handmade decoratives like this and a few more pictures of deities and the temple is full and complete. So for all of you who like a lot more color and have a lot of things to put in your prayer place, you could do something like this. Although I plan to add a lot of decor and color on a festival day, I plan on keeping it very minimal and simple on a regular basis. Finally, I have an ohm decal here from Amazon, a frame, a terracotta Ganesha with tea light candles and this beautiful brass bowl. So this little bell here is something to keep my son interested in the puja. This incense box avoids the mess and looks super pretty on your mandir. 
The final touch with the fairy lights is my favorite part and looks so festive. So I hope you guys like my little mandir. Here sending you all a lot of good wishes. Please subscribe to Sara's Diaries for more fun ideas like this.